सी द स्माइल दैट्स द मनी टॉकिंग सो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो सो टुडे वी हैव ओम विद अस हु इज अ स्टूडेंट एंड वी शैल टॉक टू हिम डिस्कस हाउ हिज लाइफ हैज बीन सो फार एज अ स्टूडेंट इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट इन द यूके वेल ओम हाय हेलो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद टॉकिंग अबाउट योरसेल्फ अ लिटिल बिट योर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड बेसिक बैकग्राउंड फ्रॉम इंडिया सो आई हैव 5 इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन इंडिया and uh, before coming here i was working with bank of america it's a good company but i i came here in uh, masters master in finance accounting finance in anglia ruskin university with placement here okay which intake was it it was january 21 this year january intake and uh, yeah I'm, i'm about to finish my semester uh, recently i just uh, finished my so how do you think program. how do you think was the course difficulty level wise and assessment and exams and assignments how was it how were the modules modules are really good but you really need to study hard okay because we have like four modules taxation and corporate finance accounting and one is uh, investment which is quite very i mean course modules are very uh, good in good yeah they have opportunity modules if they study very well then you can have a opportunity in different fields so okay. this is tough you need to study and definitely it's a uk based uh, module so it's a totally different than india so definitely it's uh, you need to study about those modules, modules properly so how were the exams assessments how many marks yeah assessments and exam it's totally different from india here you need to submit assignments and all uh it's not like written exam so uh exam was pretty good every module have like two exams and uh, both have different marking criteria so was it an exam or just an assignment <coughs> submission uh it, it is one is exam and one is assignment submission okay yeah. so what kind of exam was it was it a multiple choice question or yes 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 you're right so it was multiple choice question okay and uh, but obviously it's not like you need to take and it's mm-hmm. submitted you definitely have to work something in background then normally you can answer it correctly so it was not so easy yeah it is not so you don't so study easy. and if you focus on part time jobs yes okay so guys a point to note the course is not so easy for you all so for those who are aspiring to come here for msc finance and accounting the course is not very easy you need to study you need to give some times on your modules well that's a good thing he said well let's come to your journey so far so when you first came in last year maybe mm-hmm. january 2021 so you must have come in december end or january first week yes so how was your experience like first few days or first month what would you like to share like was it a easy one difficult one you came with your wife so how was that different from so we planned this i came first and it is really not easy because where you living in india you used to of, of everything around you yes but when you come here everything is totally different when you first step here and then you took metro or whatever you take like taxi and all that's totally different roads are different everything different when you then uh, when i moved here and uh, i paid my accommodation and then it was like i paid for a month but it was really very difficult initially i feel very first strange first month was difficult. very strange yeah and uh, it was like i need to cook by myself everything i need to do it by myself we have pressure <coughs> to find job to study so initially it took like month for me to adjust in this in a new country new people yeah, new language it's totally different and yes. but it's it's but it's a experience so i say it's a positive thing you need to see this as a positive side so it is difficult guys of course it will be difficult you are coming to a new place where you don't have anyone around you any known face any known people so it will be difficult initially in your first month so these are the common challenges which every one of you will be facing accommodation food finding jobs doing documentations and everything and this is the reason and that is the only reason actually that i started this channel to help you with my experience i came just one intake before him and i am just sharing my experience now he i'm having om with me here he will be sharing his experience like how did he manage 
So let's continue talking to him and say how did he find his first job and first accommodation? Did he book from India and how did he go about it? So let's continue. So how did you find your first student accommodation and are you still staying in the same place? Uh, yes, I'm still staying in the same place, but it's really not easy to find a good accommodation. You can find, but you have to see so many things. It should be near university, the place you're living. It should be to the city center so that you'll find a good jobs in a part-time yes. initial jobs. But it's really not easy because there are few sources uh, like uh, uh, Gumtree.com, Gumtree Spare Homes. Yeah, so you can find from there, but you need. How to did you find it? You are find it from a spare spare room. Yeah, spare rooms, and uh, so I, you made contact with the landlord on spareroom.com. Yes, room. Yes. And I contacted to them, and then Did I you? came here. Then I paid. I mean, I I haven't paid from India because okay. how can I trust people? Maybe it's a fraud or scam. Yes. So so that is a good point to note, guys. I also found my first accommodation on spare room. He also found it on spare room. It's a very, very easy to use website. I've made lots of video on how to find accommodation. And I just uploaded a video last week, live search on accommodation for all of you. So just do check it out. And there are a lot of rooms available. It is not easy, but it is doable. And you will find an accommodation. It's just how hard you look. So once you found your accommodation, what were the other challenges that you faced? Did you come with your wife? No, or she I, came afterwards? I, I came alone here. And okay. then she came like six months after because okay, it was a COVID months. time. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, it was. So initially I came and I, uh, what was the question like? It was about your first job now. First job. Okay. How did you find your first job? Where all did you work in last one year? More or less one year. Where all did you work? Did you work only one job? Did you do many part-time jobs? How were you uh, able to yeah, find I those? haven't done so many part-time jobs. Initially when I came here, it was proper lockdown and yes. very less opportunity around me so i contacted my friend everyone then i i went to the shops and dropping out my cvs there but it's really i mean uh, very less response very negative vibes were happening with me but still i haven't i didn't give up i tried everywhere and then i found one job in a shop uh, and uh, i did that for one month and uh, behind that i was applying for applying in my field also, so after a month, I got part time in my field. So, okay. so where were you working really part time first? First part time was uh, a store. Okay. Yeah. In city center. Yeah, it's in uh, the store is in city center. I did there for one month. So, guys, a point to note: part time jobs, warehouse jobs, restaurant jobs, city center jobs. I have made lots of video on that. Feel free to check out, and those jobs will be available any time of the year. Covid, Omicron, anyone comes and goes, but these jobs will be available. Yes. I understand it will be difficult to find, but right now Christmas time and when you come after Brexit, jobs have opened, a lot of jobs. It's just that you need to look in the right direction. And as Om said, never give up. Keep on trying and of course everyone will want to work in their own fields. I, so I want to add one point. Yes, like, please. Uh, people think it's it's difficult. It is difficult, but you cannot judge ground rule, ground circumstances from there. So uh, it is better be positive. There are so many opportunities. You just yes. come here and see by your own self. And then you will realize it is really best decision to come in any situation. Don't worry. Just come here. There are so many jobs, so many jobs, part time, full time. So, any field, every yeah, field, any heavily field. jobs. There are so many jobs. People are very open-minded here in terms of job. Even 40-year-old or even 50-year-old people can work in Pizza Hut, anywhere. So it's, it's really very positive thing. You should come and you should work anywhere you get job. It's, yeah. I understand now. So what we are trying to say is, guys, since you are in India, your life will be different from the life here. You will be expecting things which are not here. Well, I remember Rome as he commented in one of my YouTube videos one year ago and that's how we got into yeah. contact. I'm not promoting my channel, <laughs> but yes, that is how we met. It's via YouTube video. He was looking for something. I am not sure. But yes, I tried to help and that is how we got into contact. And from India, you will all be worried about jobs, jobs, jobs. But guys, the thing to focus here is education. That is what me and Rome were talking some time back. 
that you need to focus on yourself and education and not just worry about jobs jobs part time jobs part time jobs part time jobs so well let's continue the conversation and let's see how has your life been so far after your wife came how things changed first 6 months you figured out everything and you were ready that okay now it's time for my wife to come so how was that scenario like when your wife came did you move into a new place did you change your accommodation you yes. needed a double room so uh, initially i was here for 6 month to main yahan pe aaya aur aane ke baad maine 6 month same accommodation mein rehta tha main so uh, after uh, i planned my wife like sh- when she come here where i go to live and all so i live in i work in a different city i moved there when my uh like for two months me and my wife stays in south end it's a uh, 20 miles from chamsford it's a tourist place and you should visit <laughs> once you have a chance when you come to chamsford yes please. yeah so and then uh, we didn't like that place really chamsford is very beautiful then <laughs> then <laughs> south end yeah so we moved back here she got job here and uh, yeah i saved some money in few six months when she come it all gone so <laughs> so don't bring your wife she is dependent you are supposed to be dependent on her but you heard him yeah all so, money gone definitely it was a very good experience but like positive negative sometimes got depressed sometimes got very good feelings it's a good place sometimes you miss home uh, so so far journey is quite very different from my past life So, but it's all positive so yeah, far. Yeah, it is all positive. in the right direction. Yeah, Are you happy here now? Very happy. Yeah, really, it's a very good place to live. That is so correct. So let's continue. So your wife came here. Mm-hmm. Then you had to go through all the same documentation like yes. NI bank opening and bank account opening. Sorry, everything was done, and then she also has to find a job. Yes. So how successful are you with finding a job for her? Where is she working, and is she liking that job? so uh, she came in august and uh, it was initially for one month we applied for uh, bank bank account uh, one one tip guys what is her field first please she... her field is accounting finance same okay, like me same like yours accounting. yeah so um, when she came here we applied straight away for provisional license because that is a full proof document that you are living in Uh, UK, so it is very important. It will cost you around uh, thirty, thirty-five pound. I have a video. Yeah, thirty-five pound, but that will give you a proper proof, and that helps you opening bank account, mm. giving your address proof, and everywhere. I think, yeah, I think everyone should just spend straight away that amount to get provisional license. So she get that uh, license, and then open. Uh, she opened a bank account. Then she start finding job in her field. initially you need to apply for nia and everything so then uh, she got she got job in her field where did is, she find the job uh, on linkedin indeed yeah Walk-in. there are so many platforms so you can uh, she find it from indeed and uh, it took like one month one and half month to get that job initially it was very depressing you cannot get response so easily and uh, people are always look for other other contestants experience. who have experience and so and how can someone come and get uk experience straight away so definitely that is a str- struggle part but she get the job in one and half month and the job is very good she works in a automotive company that's a antique uh, car company okay and yeah so in she, chamsford yeah the job is in chamsford it's like 7 miles from here okay so she has to travel every day or is it yeah, from home she have to travel from every day it's uh, like buses are very convenient here okay yeah so guys that's a very positive thing uh, if you're coming as a dependent for example with your spouse so you just try hard and you can get a job it is difficult it is depressing as he said but once you get the job you try the in the right direction like indeed.com is what i also said suggested many times if you find a job on indeed.com it's good for you they found it in one month maybe you will find it in two but you just have to keep on trying if you give up then you sit at home and you do nothing you no one will give you job in that case so never give up and that's the thing also to note from their journey that he also found the job in his field he is working as an accountant related job 
and his wife is also working in her related job so they are not working in any other part time jobs and all they are in the right direction and that's his positive mental attitude and positivity that he is having in inside him that is always thing that i always make sure to mention in each of my video guys have positive attitude and come with an open mind yes and be ready to work a little hard because it's a new place new town new language new country new people so you will need that so now we'll come to a little finance since you both are in the finance management field how do you manage your money are you you know how much are you spending what are your expenses basically how much is your rent electricity grocery travel what are the expenses and are you able to manage and are you able to save enough okay so uh, first we'll talk as a single student and then we'll continue with as a wife okay. so if only you are earning as a single person okay so uh, when i was here for yes. 6 months i was sharing my room with a with my friend and mm -hmm. i was uh, paying prox 350 pound plus bus expense i'm talking about the fixed expenses yes so rent and my bus travel charges uh, are both included uh, around 500 pound monthly paying. expense around yeah. 500 pounds with accommodation and travel travel yes and then groceries and phone and recharge phone internet charge and few more miscellaneous expenses that cost me around Hundred or two hundred pound, so it it varies between six hundred pounds or yeah. six fifty pounds a month was your ex seven. for for single single person, person expenses yeah. around six hundred fifty pounds a month. Now yeah. come to a situation where your wife came, and then when she came, just double it. <laughs> 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 Apart from that, uh, bus travel, so I'm paying right now seven hundred pound so for rent, accommodation. Rent double. Yes, travel and travel is two uh, hundred pound. and uh, apart from that groceries and all so it also cost me around 250 to 250 pound approx so so i'm more or less approximate double expenses yeah and mind you guys there um, you are staying in a, a shared, double room shared yeah, accommodation I'm, i'm living in shared accommodation so mind you guys he is staying in a shared accommodation and his expenses with his wife are approximately 1000 and one point to note that his wife has to travel every day and hence the travel expenses are 200 pounds which is yeah. quite a lot i think but not everyone will be spending 200 pounds every month on travel so that is their personal expense you can say yeah, but it is fixed so his rent is 700 which doubled when he came with uh, alone and then with his wife and then groceries double everything is double but the best part is his wife is also working full time she is yes. on dependent visa can work 40 hours a month sorry 40 hours a week she is working full time so income has also doubled yes. more than doubled in fact yes yeah, see the smile that's doubled. the money talking <laughs> so i am sure you will have that uh, smile on your face eventually if you come here so note point to note yeah and one, one more thing like people think so much uh, travel expense it's just because we both uh, work in different city i work in south end yes. which is 20 22 miles from here that's why i'm paying like 150 pound for bus mm -hmm. pass So that is that, that is why yes he is come living in a different city working in a different city living in a different city you don't have to travel every day to south end so but if you are coming to university it's walking distance from chemsford i made a yes. video on it so and buses are cheap it's 1.5 pounds one way from anywhere in chemsford as a student if you travel well that was nice talking to you now you have do you have any last words or tips motivation for students who are coming in january 2022 anything that you would like to say them yes uh, the first thing if you get your visa don't wait for anything come here maybe you got scared because it's a covid time you may not get job omicron but uh, ground reality is there are so many jobs so many and you will find easily you just need to it's easily for them who really wanted to try not for those people who just are lazy don't want to go out to explore so it is easy if you work hard if you if you go out find try for try for good jobs then you will definitely this is a land of opportunity not for lazy people so definitely <laughs> so um, if you're lazy don't come just be in india yeah, or anywhere else that you are watching yeah, it from because and just prepare yourself mentally it's not like you come here and you get a job where you 
uh, where I mean you like uh, admin job you want to do job in offices here job is job you need to do you may have to do any kind of job so don't hesitate come with an open mind try to find job yeah. once you get your visa definitely you come here and don't wait for anything because I waited for two months two three months I got visa in December and I came here in mid of February just after because, your yeah, course started yes yes after my course started and that was not good decision after coming here I realized this so that is my advice and uh, don't too panic about things like how you manage tier this two. and that tier 2 yeah definitely people just <laughs> everyone is asking yeah, me about is, tier 2 just they think like they will come and they get tier 2 and uh, they will pay their uh, fees, fees and, and all initially no it's not like that you definitely need to work hard you need to <laughs> it's one yeah. step at a time guys one yeah, step one at a time one. visa education finish your masters PSW then tier 2 if you are in India just got your visa or maybe not you are waiting for cash and you are asking me for tier 2 well that's a long job and you are surely to fall in between take one step at a time he is also on the right in the right direction I am also in the right direction visa education will get masters we both are on placement mine has already started his will start in January yeah. so he is also in the right direction and that is what we want to tell you guys just take one step at a time don't be worried about part time jobs part time jobs part time jobs then tier 2 visa worry about your education yes that's that is the key thing important. key thing yeah and uh, like I'm living with so many students and I meet every day I mean I'm also a student that's mm -hmm. why so I have so many stories and from my experience I I say uh, don't I mean don't worry too much about things in future like he said tier 2 and all uh, I'm, I'm a placement year student and uh, it's really difficult to find placement but really not impossible in my batch there are 20 students out of 20 18 get placement and it's not like uh, they were they were just they really work hard for that that is and, the key yeah and they get other two who didn't get just because they really don't want so they must but, be working yeah. part time jobs they, and they just... want their dissertation and all they don't want to stretch their study too much so that's why it's it's really I mean possible anything is possible here if you are work, In hard working that's the key but hard working doesn't mean you do part time jobs for 60 hours a week with cash in and 20 yeah. hours or 40 yeah, yeah. hours he um, means hard working as in terms of your education yeah mentally you need to first the most important thing is mentally prepare as much as you can you are prepared mentally you are so all set that's it guys it's very easy just take one step at a time and just yeah. last question I will ask him about his future plans what if since we are on the topic of tier 2 I'll just ask him what are your future plans where do you see like 2 years 5 years from now do you want to take PSW and then wait for tier 2 what are your plans maybe move uh, to Canada I don't know <laughs> no, I haven't think that long but I got uh, placement here and I got placement so I will finish that first and definitely I will apply for PSW and if someone sponsor me they want a sponsor I will not going to be greedy about that so okay. if they want I mean I will apply definitely apply and uh, then I if I get good opportunities I will continue here and then let's see go with the flow I can't That's predict it. anything Kal <laughs> kisne dekha hai bolte hai na yeah. That is the thing guys Ek step at a, one step at a time sorry and it's easy so he's not worried about future so much and so you should not also be worried tier 2 milega nahi milega yeah, kar lo bhai exactly. pehle padhai kar lo <laughs> job to mil jayegi paise to aa jayenge anyways guys we'll take a leave now and we'll continue later on and merry christmas to all of you this is our surprise christmas tree uh, it's very beautiful <laughs> christmas in uk light chalu karenge and we'll i'll share the video afterwards but Take care guys and stay safe, get vaccinated and come here soon. If anything, we are here to help. Kuch bhi doubt or you know where to reach me, like, share, subscribe, comment, yeah. to mein har baat bolta hi You can ask me, koi bhi doubt ho, an accounting related doubt ho, he is the person. Yes, you can ask me. He, will, ask he me. will post my uh, Insta Instagram ID. Instagram ID mein dunga, yeah. link mein. You can directly contact him, apka specific course related doubt ho. But ye mat puchna ki abhi padai, padai kar le, assignment bana de mera. 
ठीक है चलो गाइज सी आर टेक केयर चीयर्स बाय थैंक यू एंड लाइक सी आर सब्सक्राइब वो सब चलेगा वो डेट्स फाइन डेट्स फाइन थैंक यू सो मच